been talking about classifications of organic compounds. Organic compounds. Now, as you know, we have different organic compounds, but these compounds are classified. The first class of organic compounds we have are the ones we call the aliphatic compounds. We have the aliphatic compounds. Sorry, I'm using short form. Now, what are aliphatic compounds? Aliphatic compounds are those organic compounds that have open chain structure. When the structure of an organic compound is open, it is not in the ring or cyclic form, such a compound belongs to the aliphatic. For instance, we have this CH3, CH2, CH3. As you can see, this compound is open. Unlike this, this is a closed compound. This one is closed in form of a ring. But this one here is open. Whether it is in a straight chain or in a branched form, as long as it is not closed, it belongs to the aliphatic compounds. So we say that aliphatic compounds are those organic compounds that have open chain structures. But remember this, another name for aliphatic compounds is the open chain compounds. So if you don't call them aliphatics, you call them open chain. The second class of compounds are the ones we call alicyclic compounds. They are those organic compounds that have the cyclic structure or the ring structure. They, are, they have cyclic shape. For instance, I can have this. We we'll no longer call it normal propane. Normally, when it is like this, this is aliphatic, open chain, but this is alicyclic, closed chain. Now, this one is called normal propane. N means normal open chain but this is not normal propane because it is in the cyclic form we we'll call it cyclo cyclo means it is in cycle form then how many carbons three we we'll call it propane so those organic compounds that have the cyclic structure are called alicyclic compounds the third class here are three homocyclic compounds. What are the homocyclic compounds? The word, the, the meaning of this, homo, simply means the same, while hetero means different. Now, when we say a compound is homocyclic, Look at, look at this, homocyclic, simply means that first the compound must be in cyclic form, then homo means the carbon atoms or the ring that make up that circle must contain the same element. Like if I have this, you can see that I have four members ring here. This is a ring made up of four carbon atoms. These are the ring carbons. This one, this one, this one, and this one. They are the ring carbons. And because the ring contains the same element, only carbons are present along the ring. We we'll call it homocyclic. Unlike this, if I have something like this, if I have a compound like this, I will not call this homocyclic. Why? Because the ring is made up of more than one different element. This is carbon, but this is nitrogen. But in this one, the ring is made up of the same thing all over, carbon all through. So when the ring is composed of only carbon all through, we call it homocyclic. But when the ring is made up of more than one, atom that is carbon and any other atom 
we call it heterocyclic. So the number three is homocyclic compounds. And remember, homocyclic compounds are those allocyclic compounds whose ring is made up of carbon atoms only. But heterocyclic compounds are those cyclic compounds whose ring is made up of carbon and either nitrogen or oxygen or sulfur. When nitrogen or oxygen or sulfur, if any of them is used to replace a carbon atom in the ring, such a compound is called a heterocyclic compound. For instance, if I have a carbon here, carbon here, now instead of having carbon here, I have oxygen. These are the three possible atoms we can use to replace the position of a carbon. When any of these, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur, when any of them is used to replace the position of a carbon atom, the compound becomes a heterocyclic compound. Like this one, which we call ethylene oxide. This is ethylene oxide. Ethylene, two carbons. Oxide is the oxygen here. So this is an example of a heterocyclic compound. Remember, hetero means that the atoms or the elements that make up the ring are not the same. The next class, which is the last one we are going to look at here, are the aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds. What are aromatic compounds? As we know, aromatic compounds are those compounds that have similar chemical behavior as benzene. So when you talk about aromatic compounds, the first compound that will come to your mind is benzene. So in definition, we say that aromatic compounds are those compounds that have similar chemical properties as benzene. Example, benzene itself is aromatic. That's the father of aromatic compounds. Number two, is naphthalene. We have naphthalene. They are all aromatic compounds. Now, the question in the next video, we'll be looking at the qualities or properties of aromatic compounds. That means, what are the qualities a compound will have for us to say this compound is aromatic? Click the next video to understand more about aromatic compounds. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Thank you.